Sometimes when we're building robots, See if you can push those instead things of using around. electronics over there, oh, no, we want to if you can push it back in. Watch the Here's color lights too. Here comes in. Number, that's pressure. This is this is the pressure that's in the storage side. This is the pressure in the earth. Okay. Take it off. So this is just as complicated. So this was mechanical engineering. This is mechanical engineering. So I want you to lean that triangle back. Lean back. Well, not the touching triangle. This is right here. here. There you go. Now let it go. Good job. And let it go. Oh, very good. So. So for those who are just joining us, I built this robot literally five minutes ago. And it's all part of the basics of mechanical engineering combined with computer engineering and electrical engineering. Engineers don't work by themselves. So let's bring our robot to life. Robots only do what I tell them to. They speak a very specific language. So this is the robot's language. Nope. Pictures representing actions. And there's lots of different pictures with lots of different actions. And how I arrange those pictures changes what the robots do. There you go, Curtis. There you go. You guys, when you do your axle, here's what it's going to look like. Check you and see. Is that about right? Sure there's or is it too long? The other one goes the back. Do we need to cut a little bit off of it? I think maybe. Well, let's see. This one goes inside. So let's see. Yep. Make sure it's straight. No, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Don't you think? <laughs> You're letting me hold it. Got it? Oh, good. Okay, finish cutting it, though. Don't leave it jagged. How you do this to test it out, how the car is going to react. Um, now, is this a short time? Go ahead and do it. Let's okay, let's, let's see the it. test. Yeah, let's let the, the master right? straight. You can tell why it's not straight, right? So the lines here, you see how it's a little bit that way? So the car is going this way a little bit. So it's coming and it's gonna come this way. So it's not gonna go as far as we need it straight. So go back and adjust this. So whose car is this? Your car? Let's do one more. There we go. Not too bad. Let's look on the back. It's yeah, nice job. That looks pretty good. Yeah, good shot at me. <laughs> Spin one of them, it spins the other one, and that's how that's how cars work on the inside. Okay. And you have to be good in math to be an engineer. Okay? Yes. You have to be good in math. 
know, well, they know each other. That's man. Think this one's louder than this one? Let's try. You hear that? What about this one? Which one is louder? <laughs> So this one that you think is loud, so we're going to put the tally mark here on loud for this is wax paper. So we'll put it here, right there. Yeah. Now which one you think is next? You have to be very descriptive and then she'll be able to replicate it. So if we both get it, so if she gets it wrong. Yeah. Okay, ready, go. Wait, she build it? You build it first. You build it first and then you're going to explain. Okay, so what goes first? And yellow one, yellow one. The young, long yellow one. Are they on top of each other? Or are they no. next to each other? The two white ones the, um, next to the red and blue on the left. Okay, now what's next? The long blue one on top. Yeah, on top of the white one. Okay, ready? One minute and 40 seconds. It's pretty good for you. That's, good. That's great. Good. And lift it up. Yeah, see? Yeah, oh, we got that. <laughs> yeah, they just different. You have great listening skills. Did you know that? Yes. Now, when you go to the doctor, what do you think they listen for? Chance, what are they listening for? Your heart. So this is the type of instruments like a replica of what they would do. So this is what it sounds like. Thank you. You did an excellent job. You know, this is all. Thank you. Soft, soft. 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 Did you try the first one that is straight? No. Six, seven, seven, eight, nine. And you're going to take your unglued cards and stack them on here and see how many washes you can hold with these, okay? It's kind of tricky. One. I'm going to start stacking them. Two. You're done? Three. Four. Yeah, we don't need this. Eight. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. What would happen if you put one in the center right now? You may fall. You think? I might stay. Oh. Alright, do you want to try with this? And because there's more dominoes back here, you think it weighs more? That's a really good idea. Why are you doing that? Because you can put it here. 
what do you think I mean, if it weighs more here, what it's going to do here? Yeah, you just made it square. Why? Because this one weighs more. Oh. Jinx What are you doing, dude? Clever. I'm not sure it's how they came. That when we drop these helmets with our heads in them, eggs, will the helmet fall off and the head go somewhere else? What holds these helmets on our eggs or our heads? What it holds them on? So think about that. But what are we going to use the paper for? To cover the egg? So about one more minute and then we're going to gather at the two ladders. Are you ready? Yeah! Do you feel like your eggs will survive? Yeah! One, two, three! Oh. Yeah. What could you do differently, even if it worked out?